Hello World, and Programming. Programmers use programming languages to write programs. For example, we can write a program that writes programs to program other programs. If you think about it, logically, they're pretty much the same but syntactically different. In other words, they're written differently. Just like in human languages, all these mean hello. They just look different because they're in different languages. So in this video, we're going to run hello world from scratch to whatever the fuck that is and see how they vary. Let's get started. At number one, we have Scratch. Scratch has a very friendly user interface where you can drag and drop code blocks to create your own projects. It is perfect for little kids who just started learning how to code. Mom, look. Wow, looks like we got a little prodigy in our hands. Did you show dad? Hey, sweetie, come look. Fucking nerd, why don't you play with Lego blocks instead? All we need to do to print Hello World is to drag a say block and then type in Hello World. And evidently, we should get Hello World. Next up, we have Python. This programming language is text-based, and so will be all the other ones. Python has an almost English-like syntax, so it's easy to understand, and it's also perfect for beginners. It's really versatile. You could do things like data science, cryptology, machine learning, and computer vision. None of which I understand, but I know you could do them. Printing Hello World is pretty simple. You just type print Hello World, and boom. Easy. Number three, Lua. Lua is also a very easy language to learn. I personally use it for creating games with the help of a framework called Love. Honestly think they could have come up with a better name for that. But anyway, just like Python, we can use a print function to print Hello World. But there's another way, and that is with io.write. Works just the same, but it does not bring you to a new line. If you want a new line, you'd have to put in a skip character which is just a backslash n. But this isn't a tutorial video, so learn it on your own. At number four, we have Ruby. To be honest, I've never really written anything in this language before, so I can't tell you much about it. I could have done some research, but I can't be fucked, so I'm just gonna tell you how to run Hello World. And that's with a puts function, and then you type Hello World in parentheses, and that's it. Okay, next. At number five is JavaScript. Almost everything you interact with on the web is done with it. Without it, you'd just be looking at static information. Heck, you would not even be able to watch this video if it wasn't for JavaScript. One cool thing it allows you to do is clicking this red button. So go ahead. Click it. To run Hello World, you just need to type console.log and in parentheses, you write Hello World and shockingly, you will get Hello World. Okay, so far, we've seen this program run with a single line of code, and they were pretty self-explanatory. But now, it has started to get a bit complicated. For example, let's look at Kotlin. Kotlin is a general-purpose programming language, meaning it could be used for a variety of applications. But it mostly excels at creating Android applications, via Android Studio, for example. If you're into iOS, you might use something like Swift. So before we run Hello World, we will need a main function, and that function will act as an entry point for your file. To print Hello World, we'll use println, ln standing for line, and simply type in Hello World. Number seven is C. This language, in my opinion, is not so easy to get down. Oh, come on, man. That language is not that hard to understand. Any simple... As I was saying, C is not as straightforward as the other ones we've seen so far. To even print something, you'll need to import a standard library, and it also uses a main function. It's written differently, of course. To start off, we need to import a file called standardio.h. With it, we can access the printf function, which we will need to print hello world. After that, we'll need our main function, and inside it, we write printf, f standing for formatted, and then hello world. Number eight, C++. Some might say that this language is a superset of C, but they're both completely different languages. C is a procedural programming language, while C++ is object-oriented, meaning it supports things like inheritance, encapsulation, polymorphism, abstraction. What are those, you may ask? Don't ask me. Printing Hello World is not so different from C, though. We'll still need to import a library and use a main function, but instead of standard io.h, we'll use iostream and instead of printf, we'll use cout and a couple of other functions. Looks something like this. At number 9 is Java. 
Not to be confused with JavaScript, they are not related. A number of devices run Java, and like Kotlin, it's mainly used on Android applications. At the beginning of every Java file needs a class definition. Since we're running a Hello World program, we'll call that class Hello World. After that is adding the main method, which is this gibberish right here. That's where the compiler starts executing code. And finally, we'll use system.out.println to actually run Hello World. And last but not least, at number 10, is C Sharp. C Sharp is kind of like C++. They're both high level and object oriented languages, but C Sharp is much more popular and it's also really good for game development. One perfect example is using the Unity 3D game engine. It utilizes C Sharp scripts to add functionality to your projects. But anyway, to run Hello World is a little arcane because now we need to add this thing called a namespace. It's like a holder for your methods and classes. Everything that goes inside it will be similar to C++. The function we'll use for printing is system.console.writeLine. And with that is the end of the video. It took a while to make, but you don't care about that. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then fuck off. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.